Hello everyone. Welcome to LMS section, online classes, Department of Philagiate and Technical Education. So, myself, Jivita TP, lecturer in Civil Engineering, Srimati LV Government Polytechnic, Hassan. So let's see the recap of the previous session. So in the previous session, we discussed about different types of pictured roofs and some of the multiple choice questions is and references. So in this session, we will be discussing about types of steel trusses, common types of roofing materials and multiple choice questions is references. So coming to the types of steel roof trusses, the first type is the king post steel trusses. So the king post steel trusses can be used for 4 to 6 meter span range. So king post steel trusses and the head of the head of already last session. So king post steel trusses and the head of 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 the head one horizontal tie beam, tie beam will be there. So, here do rafters. So, mouse arrow on the here do rafters. Horizontal tie beam. So, king post and the head of the vertical member. So, this is king post steel truss and the head of So, king post steel truss bandu 4 to 6 meter span range. Tanka now king post steel truss na utilize mark of bodu. So simple fink steel trusses. So simple fink steel trusses means and uh, such type of steel trusses found to be very satisfactory for ordinary buildings and these trusses are used for spans of 6 to 9 meters. Simple fink steel truss in the Hiradaga, there is the inclined members, there is the rafter members and horizontal tie beam including that struts are there, inclined struts are provided. So compound thing steel truss and the head of including uh, the web members, the horizontal struts but the inclined struts also will be there. So compound thing steel truss means these trusses are used for spans up to 15 meter. So this type of trusses are also known as the French trusses. The inclined members are there, horizontal rafters are there, horizontal tie beam are there including that inclined struts and horizontal tie beams are there. These are struts portions, these are horizontal straining beams, and horizontal tie beams and rafters will be there in compound pink steel trusses. So next type is the simple house steel truss. So these trusses are used for spans up to 12 meter. So, the upper cord members are there. These rafters are the upper cord. The horizontal tie beam is the bottom cord. The then, we will have web members. Will be there. Vertical web members and inclined web members. So, this is the rise portion. So, diagonal members will be there. Then, that is called as the struts. And vertical members are there. So, simple hoves, steel truss. The upper cord members are the bottom cord members. Then vertical members, then diagonal members called struts will be there. So coming to the compound hoops steel truss. So used for spans up to 15 meter. And here the diagonals are in compression. So these are the diagonal members. So here the diagonals are in compression and the vertical members are in tension under dead load. So usually now compound hoops steel truss and nukuda. Uh, up to 15 meter varga now we can utilize the compound uh, hopes steel truss so next type of steel truss is the not light steel truss so north light steel truss bandhu up to 12 meter thanka now 12 meter span thanka not light steel trusses and i use marbodu usually north light steel trusses and i'm utilize agodu. Uh, it was used for industrial buildings to obtain adequate natural lighting for a wide building. So this type of truss is also known as saw tooth. Really, you observe the 
ಎಲಿವೇಷನ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಆ ಸಾಟ್ ಟೂತ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿ ಸಾಟ್ ಟೂತ್ ಸೊ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಸಸ್ ಬಂದು ನಾವು ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಲೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿದ್ದಾಗ ನಾವು ನಾರ್ತ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಸಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೂಫ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿಂಡೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೈನ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪಿಂಗ್ ರೂಫ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವಿಂಡೋ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡೆಡ್ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೈನ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಕೂಡ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನೋಡಿ ಈ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಶೆಡ್ ರೂಫ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಆ ಸಾಟ್ ಟೂತ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಸೈಡ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ವಿಂಡೋ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡೆಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಬೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಬೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟ್ರಸ್ಸಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಥರ್ಟಿ ಮೀಟರ್ ಸೊ ಬೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ದ ಶೇಪ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಬೋ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿ ಬೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಯು ದ ಟಿಪಿಕಲ್ ಬೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಸಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೀ ದ ಕರ್ವ್ಡ್ ರೂಫ್ ಯರ್ ಸೊ ಕರ್ವ್ಡ್ ರೂಫ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಇದೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಸ್ ಸೊ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಬೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಸಸ್ ನಮಗೆ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟೇಡಿಯಮ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಬಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಥರ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸ್ ದಿ ಬೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಸಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಇದೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕರ್ವ್ಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಲೋಪಿಂಗ್ ಬಂದು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ವ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ ಮತ್ತು ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಇದೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಯಾಗನಲ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ರೂಫ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ರೂಫ್ಸ್ ರೂಫ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ರೂಫ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನಾವು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ರೂಫ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ರೂಫ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಎರಡು ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ರೂಫ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಸೊ ರೂಫ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ರೂಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ರೂಫ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರೇನ್ ಸ್ನೋ ಸನ್ ವಿಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಇಟ್ ಶೋಸ್ ದಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೂಫ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ರೂಫ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ರೂಫ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಟೈಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಬೂ ಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಶೀಟ್ಸ್ ಜಿ ಐ ಶೀಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಲಾಟ್ ಟೀಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ರೂಫ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ರೂಫ್ ಯೂಶಲಿ ನಾವು ರೂಫ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ನ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ರೂಫ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ಯೂಶಲಿ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್
let's see what are the different types of uh, roof covering materials that is available for uh, pitched roof tiles asbestos cement sheets galvanized corrugated iron sheets slates shingles thatch covering So first type, tiles. See tiles and the hair daga, this is the oldest methods of roof covering. So tiles only again different uh, form of tiles are available. Plain or flat tiles. Plain tiles in the flat tiles and the And the second type is the curved or pan tiles. So here you can see either pan or curved and the tiles only we can see the curvature. So, then we have curved or pan tiles. So, next type is the pot tiles or half round country tiles. So, not hanchu and tanu healthy. Lino both nivido. Then we have pot tiles and the healthy. So, half round is a semicircle shape. So, half round country tiles and the healthy. So, last type of patent tiles or interlocking tiles and the healthy or corrugated tiles and the healthy. So, interlocking tiles and the healthy. Adrali one of the common familiar variety and the head that was Mangaluru tiles and the health. Mangaluru tiles, Mathe Alhavadaba, the tiles. Idrali interlocking facilities here at the so one the tiles will get in the interlocking agi Namige locking system here at the while placing. So tiles ali Namige varieties and the head of the plain or flat tiles, curved or pan tiles pot tiles or half round country tiles and corrugated tiles atwa interlocking tiles and tanu heltivi example bandu mangalu tiles so coming to the advantages of the clay tiles as a roof covering so advantages bandu it gives particularly clay tiles it gives ghoul effect durable roof covering when made of well burnt good materials, strong and pleasing in appearance, fire resistant and water resistant. Next type of roofing uh, material is the AC sheets and its full form is asbestos cement sheets. So asbestos is a mineral matter fibrous in structure. So asbestos cement is may obtained by mixing with 10 to 15 percent asbestos fiber with Portland cement. So asbestos is not on the mineral matter but the fibrous in structure. So asbestos cement is basically obtained by mixing with 10 to 15 percent of asbestos fiber with Portland cement. So thus the sheets manufactured by asbestos is commonly known as asbestos cement sheets. If you picture in a note go to the asbestos sheets and the healthy way the little uh, corrugations also is given. Next type of roofing material is the galvanized corrugated iron sheets. GI sheets and thano here. So it is made of wrought iron and coated with zinc by electroplating known as galvanizing. So particularly it is made from wrought iron and then finally it is coated with the zinc by electroplating method and that is why it is called as the galvanizing like electro, the electroplating or whatever the treatment that was uh, provided that was known as the galvanizing and uh, usually these sheets are durable fireproof light in weight and it requires no maintenance next type is the slates see slates are used where there is heavy rainfall and snowfall and it is obtained from Sedimentary rocks of limestone or sandstone. It should be hard, tough and durable and of rough texture. It should give ring bell when like when struck. Then we have to slate galana now certain distance in the hit mardaga. Like when we rub the two slates, we should get a ringing sound. Like what do we get in a brick? So no split when hold or dressed and it should be non-absorbent. So this picture shows an example of the slate. This is also an example uh, for the slate type of roofing material. 
उड शिंगल और रूफिंग सी उड शिंगल और रूफिंग मीन्स it is thin slabs of wood that is used to cover roofs it is used i mean its use is restricted to hilly areas where local timber is available at low cost so usually wood shingle anta helidaga naavu ee picture linu nodabodu very thin slabs of wood that is used to cover roofs and usually idru the usage bandu it is restricted to hilly areas you know where uh, लोकल टिमर इज ईजीली अवेलेबल अट लो कॉस्ट नमेंगे हिली ऐरिया अंत बंदा अथ लोकल टिमर नम्बर लो कॉस्टल ईजी अवेलेबल नमेंगे इट विल बिकम क्वैट एकनमिकल दट इज वाई यूशली इट्स यूसेज इज रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू हिली ऐरिया एंड इट इज ओबेन फ्रम द वेल सीजन टिमर सो इट इज लेड इन अमिलर मैनर आज स्लेट्स और टाइल सो टाइल अथवा स्लेट्स ना यी कवरिंग नाती रूफ कवरींग ना प्लेज मातीवी सिमिलर मैनर स्लेट्स अथवा टाइल ना एस ए रूफिंग कवरींग आगे यूटिस नेक्स्ट टाइप बंद इट इज थैच सो थैच इज द चीपस्ट टाइप आफ रूफ कवरींग लाइट रूफिंग लेस् ड्यूरेबल इट इज आलो हईली कंबस्टिबल एंड हेन्स कैच फायर वेरी क्विकली since it is highly combustible agiradrinda there are chances that uh, you know uh, it may catches fire uh, very quickly so now uh, we'll just recall the whole content so ivattin session alli now types of steel trusses bage discuss madidivi types of steel trusses anta helidaga we have king post steel truss and simple fink steel truss so simple fink bandu usually ordinary buildings and up to 6 to 9 meter varaga na simple fink steel trusses na provide maadabodu and compound fink steel trusses means little uh, larger span comparatively simple fink compare maadadaga that is up to 15 meter varaga na compound fink steel trusses na utilize maadabodu next is simple uh, hopes steel truss so these trusses are used up to 12 meter so idralli there is upper cord member then bottom cord member and vertical uh, members but the diagonal uh, members are also provided and again coming to the compound hopes steel trusses for spans up to 15 meters uh, we can use uh, compound hopes steel truss and here the diagonal members whatever the diagonal members are there these members are in compression the struts gal enen ide diagonal members so adashtu compression alli irutte but vertical members bandu it is a tension under the dead load the north light steel truss so north light steel trusses anta helidre and it is also called as the saw tooth anta nu helthivi because you can see the saw tooth format here up to uh, span 12 meter tanaka utilize maadkontivi and uh, usually industrial buildings alli to obtain uh, natural uh, lighting for a wide building uh, now north light steel trusses ana use maadtivi and this type of truss is also known as saw tooth since it, it resembles the saw tooth now the saw tooth saw tooth truss anta nu helthivi so there is a incline member here with a combination of window here <coughs> there is a incline member here and with a combination of window so this is an example of a north light shed roof illi nodabodu neevu saw tooth format ide illi namge so one kade incline member idre innond kade incline member alli we have a window So this is the bow string steel truss. Bow string steel trusses, bandhu usually a largest spans again are utilized. Mark ko thevi that is these trusses are used for spans up to thirty meter. So here uh, the curve, I mean uh, the picture looks like uh, the whole truss form is in there. It looks like bow. That is why it is called as the bow string. So the top surface is curved and there is a horizontal member and vertical member. Same time inclined uh, members are also provided. कर्वेचर हरिजाटल ट्रैबीम वर्टिकल मेबर इनफ्लैन मेबर आलो दूफ कवरी फॉर् पिचर्ड रूफ रूफ कवरींग अंत इट इस एसेनशियल कांपोनेंट आफ पिचर्ड रूफ यूशली ना रूफ रूफ कवरींग फ्रेम वर्क मेले प्रोवैडी टू प्रोटेक्ट इट फ्रम रेन स्नो सन विंड एक्सेट्रा 
and some of the factors that we need to consider uh, while selecting covering materials and that is that is we need to concentrate on the climate of the locality nature of the building initial cost maintenance cost durability availability of material fabrication facilities type of roof framework resistance to fire and heat and appearance and special features of the locality and uh, coming to the types of uh, roof covering materials for pictured roof especially for pictured roofs uh, we have uh, tiles asbestos cement sheets galvanized corrugated iron sheets slates shingles thatch covering so tiles only again we have different types like flat tiles curved tiles see flat curved tiles and we have uh, half country i mean sorry half round country tiles interlocking tiles so coming to the advantages uh, since it is made from clay it will gives uh, it will give cool effect durable roof covering strong and pleasing in appearance fire resistant and water resistant and uh, this is the ac sheets and uh, this one is the corrugated sheets where it is made of uh, wrought iron and coated with uh, zinc uh, by electroplating known as galvanizing durable uh, type and it also requires no maintenance and this is an example of a uh, slate usually wherever uh, the heavy rainfall and snowfall is there in such places we can utilize uh, slate roofing and it is obtained from sedimentary rocks of limestone or uh, sandstone and it should be hard tough durable and of rough texture wood shingles means these are the thin slabs of wood used to cover uh, roofs and uh, like i said in the previous uh, explanation like uh, wood shingles bandu it is uh, Uh, its usage is restricted to hilly areas elli namge easy agi local timber available irutte low cost alli anta kade na wood shingle roofing ige adopt maarkobodu the thatch anta helidaga after all the roof coverings cheapest type anta helidare that is thatch light roof covering less durable and it is also highly combustible and hence uh, it catches fire very quickly so now uh, we are at the end of the session So now uh, we'll take up the multiple choice questions. So GI roof covering stands for options: cement, gauged iron sheet, corrugated galvanized iron sheets, corrugated good iron sheets, carbon galvanized iron sheets. Answer is. corrugated galvanized iron sheets second one steel roof trusses are commonly used for factory and workshop buildings temporary structures multi story buildings in those places where there is heavy rainfall answer is used for factory and workshop buildings cheapest type of roof covering is option a thatch b wood shingle c slate d ac sheets answer is thatch fourth one ac sheets stands for aluminum corrugated sheets option b asbestos cement sheets option c carbon sheets option d alloy corrugated sheets answer is asbestos cement sheets in the last i have put the answers for the multiple choice questions you can go through with this so coming to the references building construction bc punmiya building construction by bc pc vargis and building construction by sc rangwal so building construction and materials by guru charan singh jain book agency so building construction by sushil kumar construction technology by hs vishwanath sand foundry global education and learning and these are some of the websites uh, that have gone through while uh, preparing ppt as well as uh, uh, preparing the study material so now uh, we will wind up the session 10 thank you